Welcome back. Uh, video two here of uh, articulated circus peanuts. Uh, this one we're going to use Hydro Hackle, uh, one of the Snake River Fly products that builds bodies really easily. And we're, we're going to make a white one here. Uh, the hook I'm using is the Moonlit streamer hook with a straight eye. This is a size two. Size fours are also good for this type of bug. The thread I'm using is a 210 Danville color is white and we'll start some thread here and you can throw some lead wire on there too could do that first if you want this is 025 and I'm gonna throw this lead wire on the back portion of the fly Uh, this fly we use quite a bit of marabou. Every time we tie in marabou I'm actually using two pieces lined up so that the tips match up here. So for the tail, pretty basic, just two pieces of white marabou. Wrap backwards. Yeah. Cut out the extra there. I've got lead wire that creates some thickness there, and we'll just have that up through the body. And then we're going to tie in our hydro hackle. This is a silver holographic available at Snake River Fly. Really good material for uh, quick streamer bodies, a lot of flash, pretty thin fiber, so it uh, sinks well. And we'll just take our thread up towards the eye here. Leave that. And then you'll notice on the hydro hackle you have a flat side and a side with all the fibers. Just try to make sure that that lines up so those fibers are splayed out. Real durable material. And once we're almost to the eye, we're going to stop right there, tie that off. Uh, can I get some silver holographic rubber legs for that oil, the oil slick? Okay, so you can see how bouncy that material is, how soft it is really just looks amazing in the water. Uh, the rubber legs I'm going to use on this are the Oil Slick from Snake River Fly. And I'll just cut out four of those. And on the back section, we'll take our, our rubber leg here and just wrap it around the thread. Bring our thread on there. And pull back on the rubber legs, tie them down the side. You can even pull back on some of those fibers there. Do the same. Take our other rubber leg, put it on this side. And then we're going to tie in two pieces of marabou on each side. Kind of line those up, even out the tips. Tied on. The other 
other side. The extra marabou in this fly creates a lot of action. Some volume to the fly, but really just a shimmering, pulsating effect with those tips. Secure that down and end up with a, a pretty large thread head on there. Give it a whip finish. And that will be the rear portion of this Hydro Hackle Circus Peanut. Okay. So there's our back section. Drop another moonlit hook in here. On the front hook, I'm not going to put any lead wire. We have the dumbbells, with it, which adds some weight to the front bug. I'll put down a decent thread base first. Just big enough that it'll keep those dumbbells from spinning. Up in the front portion here. And the dumbbells uh, that I'm using are Real Eyes Plus. You can use Lead Eyes, those work great in red and black. I like yellow or chartreuse ones also. And you want to put these dumbbells on the bottom side so that your fly will orient with the hooks down in the water. Leave a little bit of room in front of the dumbbells to finish the fly off. Similar to a clouser, just tie these things down nice and secure. And then we'll bring our thread to the back and tie in our articulated fly. To do that, I'm going to use, uh, I've got some Maxima 25 pound test and a glass bead, a 6 aught check bead. There's lots of different articulation beads out there. First, I'm going to run this uh, monofilament through the eye, fold over the two pieces here, and kind of bring them together so I can slide on the articulation bead. And I'll run both, both pieces of that monofilament back through that bead. slide the bead down. And I'm going to orient the, the rear bug so that it's right side up with the hook down. Lay those two pieces of monofilament up against my for forward hook and tie them in on the side. And once again I've not had these come apart ever on a fish. Uh, the only time one broke was on a log, and the log wasn't moving. <laughs> so I'll, I'll tie that down really well, and I can even trim out these excess pieces of maximum here. Nice and secure. All right, once that's tied in, we're gonna go for two more pieces of marabou. This pattern represents uh, any small bait fish in a stream. Could be a sucker minnow, 
It could be your white fish, a small white fish, or a baby trout. Kind of a neutral color to it. Not a lot of flash in this guy or in the, some of the circus peanuts that I do. The hydro hackle certainly adds some flash though. Okay, once we've got that segment tied in, you can see the segmentation kind of created here. And we'll do one more set of marabou up front. We're going to tie in our other piece of silver holographic hydro hackle. Once that's secured, I'll bring my thread right behind the dumbbells. and advance the hydro hackle. Love this hydro hackle stuff. It comes in a million different colors here at Snake River Fly for any of your articulated streamer needs. I like the volume that it gives off, however it's super soft and very thin and will sink in the water uh, very rapidly. And I'm going to cut out the excess piece here, pull a little bit of those fibers back and we'll go next, next into some rubber legs, right behind the dumbbells, just pull them back. <laughs> Pull back on those and bring them off to the side. Two more pieces of marabou on each side. I do tie this uh, fly in a triple version with three hooks. It works really good. It uses even more marabou. So <laughs> the whole turkey. <laughs> That one I think uses 21 pieces of marabou. This one I think we're at 12. And you can kind of use that marabou to cover over top of your rubber legs. Just try to make sure the lengths are equal. And uh, what happens with the marabou is it cre does create segmentation in your fly. By keeping them all even, you get a nice segmented look. All right, and then to finish this fly off, I'm going to use a small piece of a um, pearl chenille, crystal chenille. You could use Estaz, um, you could use crinkles on fiber. Available at Snake River. Just tie that in, kind of wrap it down. Bring our thread all the way to the eye. And then wrap the pearl chenille here to get a nice head look. Do a figure eight on there. Bring it up around, and at that point, I'll bring it forward. Secure that right there. Where we will do our whip finish. Good knot there. Okay, and that's our bug. Couple finishing steps if you want to trim a little bit of the fibers away from the eye. Give the head a tiny bit of taper. The other thing I'll sometimes do is come in and there's you know a total of four sets of legs. I'll come in and snip those down and make them a little bit shorter. Or make one of them kind of short and keep the other one long. Just to create a little bit of a difference in the rubber legs. 
And there you go, guys. That's the Hydro Hackle Circus Peanut. An easy bug to tie, super effective on your bigger western rivers. Anywhere you're getting streamer takes, this one is going to move uh, those larger fish. Browns and uh, cutthroat especially where I fish. Or uh, a lot of largemouth bass and smallmouth bass. Thanks for watching. Uh, Dave with Snake River Fly. You can find the video on snakeriverfly.com or on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.